Yeah, yeah, that's my face. That's, you see my face? That face you're making, that's my face. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hi Sav, hi Yuri. Been waiting for you. That's weird. You ready to continue reading? Brought my best tea today. Monica! Told you not to. Oh. She really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? Are they arguing again? Said all I could do that on a regular basis or something. I wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. After a new member, oh, another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. But I guess another girl would be nice this time. Hi, oh, yeah. It would almost seem like Sayori. You know, just a just a mind off the top of my head. You know, just. Just seems like a new good member to this society, you know? It's been quite good. Tatsuki, nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Oh man, last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yurik's fucked up. Yeah, uh-huh. You must have a lot of determination to start in this club and still trying to make time for piano. Maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It makes me to work hard for the festivals too. Anyway, Sav, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Sav is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. She's gone a bit yandere, don't you think? What if I don't want to? What if I don't want to? Maybe I want to go hang out with Natsuki, huh? Do I get a choice? Huh? Actually, I have a crust. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Do I have a choice anyways? Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up, making her way to the closet. I follow and watch she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetch an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this in at the teacher's desk and I'll then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down at the teacher's desk. Simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. I won't take the bar. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries to the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not at this time. She's filling out the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up? A board just went here, so I had to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. Start heading down the hallway. Ha, 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 ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> Sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Okay. Oh! That's a lot of cuts. Like, for cutting yourself, that's a lot of cuts. Holy shit. Thanks for waiting patiently. I didn't. I didn't. I... Okay. Anything is fine. Very well, Yuri sets the temperature. Okay, now it makes me think that Yuri is controlling this. 
I saw something that she didn't want me to see, and then suddenly, you know. Bro, I'm trying to be Doctor Strange, like. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others, even though I'm not an expert on tea or anything. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Perhaps I will. You fetch the teapot and begin to measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? Well, I was learning a show and you notice. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around anyways. It's pushing me so much towards Yuri, but I don't want to be here. <laughs> this is my last decision. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You've always worried about yourself. It's very endearing. That's Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Sav, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Boobies! My... Your posture, right? I always touch over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. We'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a small... It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it will go well with the tea. I wonder where Natsuki's at. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at the sides. As if it's think we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are in close to each other. Can't see too well. Yuri slides closer into our shoulders and touching. How am I supposed to focus on something reading like this? Yuri was also kind of cute, but when she's um, being less apprehensive, it's almost like I can, can handle it. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup, holding it with my hand. That's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Sorry, I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you one. Ah, uh, that's... that's okay. I don't take any. Are you sure? Well... If I touch it, then it might get smudged on the papers. Ah, uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologise. I'll hug the book, okay? You sure? Of course. That's a cute photo. Like... Cute. You open the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have to, any hard time of it with the left. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's al already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lip as, as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I have apprehensively placed the chocolate in her mouth. What is it with me and mouth? <laughs> Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did did I just? Yuri looks at me like she needs needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Sav, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Sab. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Sab. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding. Sab. I can't calm down. Can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Sab? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I don't know. I don't want it to. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Hey, it might be. I can't make it stop. Oh, just stop, please. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Ha! Ah! 
Oh! Oh, that is terrifying. Please stop looking at me. Please stop. This isn't enough. I feel objectified. Monica! Help me! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. Oh. It's time to share poems. Natsuki, I miss you. Can we talk? This one's alright, alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't tell you how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not... Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in, so you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me, so read it carefully, okay? Okay. Uh, don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's been quiet and polite and attentive. She's always been quiet, polite, and attentive. Like okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. But the truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll get mad at me again. Don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with you and it really hurts me to see her this see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Secret. You want hand cam? That's not... I changed my mind. Right, Michael Jackson. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's your own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Sav? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Yeah, I think, I think, I think she's buying this. I think Monica's buying this. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. No. No. Can I not? <laughs> Just bought it. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Just Monica. Yuri's freaking me out. I don't want to be with her. Sav, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I don't want to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Yeah, I saw that. That kind of messed up? Sure. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. That's messed up. Might even be like a sexual thing, but the point is you've been kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it to you all. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, I went really, really hard on this poem, so hope that it's uh, effective. Here it goes. 
PC Ryan's problem needs to restart. We're just collecting some. Jeez, that really startled me. Um. Well, I guess I kind of messed up at writing this poem. Yeah, you seem to kind of gone fucked it up, huh? I was just trying to. Never mind. Let's just move on. Sure, let's just move on. That was nothing anyways, was it? No, nothing to worry about. Hi, Yuri. Finally. Oh. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Sav, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. You're too nice to me, Sav. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Sorry, what? That's what Sayori said last time and now she's dead. So I'm guessing you're gonna die now. Not really, but I just know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? A little bit. A little, just, a, just a little bit. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. Or even touch myself while reading it over and over. That's a thing I thought I'd never read or say or just witness. Give myself paper cups so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Is that even how that works? <laughs> you can have my poem too. You know what? I don't want it. No, I don't want it. Can I leave? Can I go? It's an uncomfortable position. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Will I? Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. That's blood. Oh, and I'm pretty sure that's... Is that urine? This is going to be like a jump scare thing, isn't it? When I take this down, she's going to be like really close to my face. I can't, I can't even read it. I knew it! No, I don't like it. It's weird. Your eyes are weird. I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Yeah, yeah, that's my face. That's, you see my face? That face you're making, that's my face. Ah! I think I'm gonna vomit. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> yes or no. I still haven't had anything yet. Oh, that's my mouse. Sure. Stare at the dot to reveal a special message. I'm looking at it. I'm look. Oh. Oh, I love you. I love the dot too. I love you too. At least it didn't laugh at me this time. Okay, everyone. Yeah, let's, let's just look at that. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Staggonizing errors come with foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it will help. Monica, not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. Can't run a successful poetry even without without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. Like it's still something to do, eh? 
What about Sav? Sav is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it works. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laboriously enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. Hey, it's getting spicy. All you care about now is dragging Sav around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I don't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Sav decide to, to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Sav make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Sav, I know how fed up you are these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself! Oh my god! Oh my god. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ, this is never gonna end. Just make your choice, okay? Oh no. Oh, that's so weird. If I go, if I go up, it drags me down to Monica. Oh, that's so weird. You can see it fighting. Ah! Oh! I had no choice. I'm in your house this weekend. I promise it will be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking the staff for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. Being a little unreasonable here. I'm being wrong. Uh-oh. She's got them eyes. Uh-huh. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling staff away from me every single time you're not including in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's Justin. Have you considered killing yourself? What? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, just let it go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I wanted to do was spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Sav. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Oh, I just got a new one. Literally, it's just a file that says, Have a nice weekend. That is all it says. Brilliant. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Sad there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. I don't want to. The whole day with just the two of us. I think you'll kill me. Doesn't that sound wonderful? No. Well, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? Yeah. But you know what? I don't care anymore. Never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It looks like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? It's like breathing in my ears. It's great. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? Have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Sav. I have to tell you. I'm I'm madly in love with you. Really? Feels like every inch of my body, every drip of blood of mine is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Sav, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. 
That's not love, that's fucked up! I just want to pull your skin open and crawl into- That's also really fucked up! Ah! I told you if I spend the weekend with her, I'm gonna die. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? No. Tell me, Sav. Tell me you want to be my lover. Nope. Do you accept my confession? No. 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 Go away. Ah. Uh ah. -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh. 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 sit here and stare at her. The art is really good though. Can I? Oh no, I can't. Oh my god, how much is there of this? Is it just all this? Fuck the skip. Oh. Oh. It's a good thing it's the weekend. I guess I'm just sitting here. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. I thought it was pretty. Yeah! Ew, that's gross. Ooh. I'm here. Sab, did something happen? Natsuki just ran up. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend? Oh, jeez. Didn't realize the script was broken that badly. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. OS remove. Oh! It's just Monica. It literally just is Monica now. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I would get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This shouldn't only take one second. 